Greetings and welcome back everyone to Mega Aquarium, where in the last episode we completed our first aquarium in Sunnyside and we unlocked Northwoods. Now Northwoods is going to be a little bit more of a large scale aquarium and we're going to be unlocking a lot more tech, not just new animals, so let's go ahead and jump on in, shall we? Welcome to Northwoods. You've been tasked with refurbishing this old aquarium. It already has several tanks and some decorations and even a couple of surviving fish. Even a few surviving fish. The aquarium has a healthy source of ecology points, but these only unlock new animals. To unlock other things, we need science points. Science points are used to unlock new pieces of equipment, tanks, and facilities for your guests. Both types of points are crucial to running a successful aquarium. Make sure you have an adequate supply of both. Very well. Okay, so as we can see, there are some problems here, but you may notice that uh, these tanks are much taller. They actually have their own walls. Uh, it'll the, the aquarium will go into why that is, so I, I won't jump uh, ahead there, but there is a reason for that. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop you over there because that just seems like the perfect place for you to be. Uh, furthermore, let's have a, a couple of benches down, shall we? Uh, let's rotate this around. I wouldn't mind maybe a bench or two. One there, one there, perhaps. Something like that. Just so that people have something to, to stop by. Now, what kind of fish have we got? We've got uh, four half chromis in there. That's fine. Oh, that's a bit of an odd amount of fish. That's only 15. Now, though this tank actually has more than the 2x3s in the previous level. You will notice. We've got some fish over here. We've got some uh, so the Arabian blue lined darty backs there. And finally, two yellow tanks. Okay. Well, this one doesn't quite have enough uh, filtration in there, but it's only only lacking by a little bit. That uh, said, I don't think there's much we're going to be able to do to help with that one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this door straight across there and then rebuild this wall. That way, I can go ahead and pop down a little basic filter in here. Now, you may have noticed we've got the power filter and also the power heater. And uh, there's still... Well, I mean, the power heater isn't, isn't very uh, expensive, and it heats an awful lot. But, uh, well, they're no, it's no longer a case that uh, the the filter and heater is less expensive than the, the Combi Mini. Now, the Combi Mini is equivalent to the basic heater and filter combined. We'll eventually unlock an equivalent for the power ones as well. But there we go. That's the first step. We've managed to uh, sort that out. Hire at least one staff. Let's go ahead and have a look. Claire. Claire is a great all-rounder who has worked in aquariums before. That is pretty solid, actually. Uh, Romeo is an en energetic worker who doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. Uh, they they don't mind cleaning. After three years of mucking out land-based animals at the zoo, uh, Isla fancied a change. Very well. As a keen motorcyclist, Ulrika knows a thing or two about machines. Well... I'm going to go with Claire first. 32 per day for Claire, but uh, better well. Uh, let's manage Claire. I would like feeding to be your number one priority, please. And indeed, thank you. Right, you notice we've got a lot of uh, tanks around the place. We don't need that many, but I guess it's not a terrible thing to have them. Uh, that being said, though, uh, I do feel that these rooms are not exactly well set up. No, no. No, I do not feel that at all. Perhaps we can move the things around a little bit. Since we've got to uh, get a bunch of fish here anyway. Sure, let's uh, let's just slide these things about some. Uh, for example, we could have this little area kind of sunk in, maybe? Hmm. Possibly. And I could have the... Uh, the fish just outside there because uh, that is quite a lot of room that we don't necessarily want to use up uh, alternatively i could just turn this around uh no i can't quite fit that one in like that we've got a lot of tanks though let me uh just move these around let's see if we can't get a better combination i mean that isn't terrible i do need to move this though so we could have that um here for example or somewhere around here, that'd be fine. Let me shimmy these about. Next up, I would like. Yeah, we'll have this one over here. So we'll have these two tanks 
Like that. Once again, we'll move this. There we go. So that's okay so far. Uh, we could have this tank kind of squeezed in there if we really wanted to. Or we could just have a, a second tank entirely. Hmm. Bit of a quandary. Let's keep moving this around. I know, I know. I've only just got here and I'm like completely moving the whole place around. I'm like a bad boyfriend. I just get invited to uh, move in and suddenly return from, from work and I've moved everything. Like, no, 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 it's much more efficient this way. Oh my god. All uh, right. Let's see. What kind of tanks we got? Oh, we can't build any new tanks. That is interesting. All right, then. Uh, very well. So, I guess we're going to have to have these in the configuration that we've got them. Uh, that's not a terrible thing. Uh, that, that even works uh, in, a, in a way. Uh, let's move this one around, though. We really don't think we need that many. Move that one over there as well. Yeah, sure, that'll work. Uh, actually, we'll move this door down there. There we go. I think this is a nicer design overall. In my humblest of not very humble opinions, this is a much better design. Uh, we'll have a bench there. We'll have a bench here. Maybe just a little bit aside so that people can have a little bit more room to uh, sit down there. Mm, or we could even... See, the problem with this is I don't quite feel right having people sat like that. It's, 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 it's uneven. Oh, my Lord. It would be so much better if it weren't. I could make it not uneven, but... Uh... We'll see. Uh, first, though, let's go ahead and move you around. Now, this one is uh, a protruding tank, as you can see. Uh, it's a bit of a different design. We could even, in fact, have it here. It's kind of splitting this little walkway. Oh, that looks nice, actually. I approve of this. Uh, it's a lot of wasted room right now. But we'll get there. We will get there. We'll pop that in. Can I move that? <gasps> I can! Huh. Maybe it's like entire walls that you can't move. I was certain you couldn't move walls for some reason. I, I don't know why I got that impression from there. Uh, Alright. Let's actually have a look. No, I can move it. Well, there we go. There's something I, I didn't know before. Ah, but there we are. I think that's a bit of a better design overall. I mean, it's not amazing, but uh, it gives us a decent bit of room for expansion. However we please. We'll probably have that expand out like that. Uh, right, so we now need to build a tool station. So anyone, let's get that one done. And we'll pop the tool station in here for now. Combine 40 science across all of our fish. Now, we've got the Royal Gam uh, Grammar. This delicate looking beauty is deceptively hardy in the wild. The Royal Grammars claim small territories in vertical reef walls. It's a fish size of three. Five signs per fish doesn't require very much water quality. The zebra moray eel. Now, this one is an interesting one. Zebras won't try and sample uh, their fish tank mate, but we can't say the same for any ornamental crustaceans. All right. They will, warning, may eat or damage crustaceans with the size of one or less. Okay. Now, growth time increases by one each day that all requirements are met, will grow to nine after four days. That is quite impressive. This one requires muscles, uh, and actually requires a little bit of cave. It has got 16 signs by itself, but does require better water quality in general. Now, of all my tanks, they all have the same sort of uh, capacity, so there's really no particular reason to favor one of these tanks over the others so let's go with this one then for the eels we'll get well that'll eventually be nine so let's let's count um count it as nine for anything else we might put in the tank you just placed your first zebra moray eel or moray eel the zebra moray starts small but will grow larger over time Grown-up animals are worth more points, but they will only grow if you fulfill all of their care requirements and make sure there is enough space in the tank for them to grow into. So I guess they might just grow 
up to the space that they've got, but no further. Still, I'd rather not have them crammed. Hover over the growth time to find out how many days it'll take. We've already done that, that's fine. So that's going to be the only eel in here, but it does require a cave. So let's pop down the cave there. Now, this one is also going to require uh, some additional food types. So let's get those going. We want mussels. There we are. So Ariel is just going to chill out there. We've got um, quite a few fish so far, actually. Uh, we can expand the fish a little bit. Let's actually see. There's no point there because we haven't got any science points coming from them. So we'll, we'll avoid that. Let's go ahead and place in some royal grammars in here then. So we can have five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Marvellous. Now the water quality is a little bit too low now. But if we have a look in here, we'll see this, which has... It takes up four space. It's two by two. Doesn't give as much prestige as you get from four rocks. But it gives more filtering power. We could try it. Womp. There we go. So that's given us enough filtering in there now that we don't need to worry about it. Which is always very nice. In fact, let's move these around a little bit. There we go. In fact, I would like to uh, move these like so. There we are. That's a bit better, I think. Now we need one more science, really. Oh, that's, that's vexing. Ah, but once this is grown to its full size, that might be enough. So, you know what? Uh, oh, no, we can't. We, we have to actually get an extra fish in. Ah, that's a bit of a shame. But okay. Uh, I guess then we'll pop one over here. There we go. It's going to be a little bit lonely. I don't like that, but uh, it's not a lot that we can do about it, unfortunately. Okay. Good work. The aquarium is restocked and it's open to the public once more. You may have noticed that all of the tanks at North Woods are embedded into walls. They are called, and imaginatively, wall tanks. Wall tanks are viewed by guests from one side and accessed by staff via the other. This allows you to keep your equipment behind closed doors. Talking of doors, the staff door allows your staff through, while blocking guests. Handy. All of this useful is useful because from rank 3 onwards, guests expect that your equipment to be hidden away and they will complain otherwise. Your next objective is to build your own wall tank, matching the specifications in your objectives. 3x3, three three, wow. Okay, let's have a quick look here. Have we got all of these unlocked? I don't know if we've got them all here. So, we can go with the Coral Grouper. A fast-growing fish that can't be trusted with smaller tank mates. This grouper wants to know what everything tastes like. I mean, I can't say that I don't understand that, but uh, they cost exactly the same, but it's 25 science, five prestige. It grows up to a size nine, starts at size five, needs three caves by itself. Dislikes uh, cons, uh, cons specifics, cannot be housed with other, other crawl or groupers. So this is just one of these in a tank. It takes three days to grow to size nine. Uh, and it will eat fish with size 2 or less, or crustaceans with size 2 or less. Now that will change. It can change based on the size. So as it gets up to size 9, you might find that it'll eat fish of size 3 or less. So be prepared for that. Don't make the mistake I made on this level the first time I was there, thinking, oh, it's fine, I'll, I'll start stock it with like size 3 fish. And then it grew up to its full size, and then it started eating them, and I was like, no, my fish. Uh, the flame angelfish. This dwarf angel will share its tank with most any fish, provided they don't look anything like himself. So it doesn't like other flame angelfish. This one will eat or damage stony corals, clams, or gorgon gorginians. Nah, I'm not sure about those. Uh, fairly standard fish otherwise, but we're going to go for the coral grouper. The coral grouper, rather. Now then. We need a fairly large tank here, I would say. Uh, right, now we've got Science Project. The Power Combi. The Power Combi provides combined heating and filtering, saving you space and maintaining uh, maintenance. It is suitable for small to medium-sized tanks. Now, this one requires certain skill. Skill required. Fixing this will be time-consuming for staff without some skill. It's not particularly um, uh, reliable either, but it's a really, really useful. The basic pump allows you to locate your equipment remotely from a tank um, for convenience, 
access and to keep equipment out of the way of guests. So this has a range of seven tiles away and you can link it so you don't need them to be adjacent like we need with the other things. But we're going to go for the, uh, the combi for now. Right, okay then. Uh, let's let people start making their way in. What kind of tanks can we build? Right, well, I would like a much larger tank for now. Let's go for something nice. Okay. Oh, this can be much bigger. Oh, I like it. I like that a lot. Um, sure, let's get this down. Now, once again, we're going to want to make sure that my guests can't access this area. Um, I just, I guess I'm just going to save these walls for later. I'll just pop them over there, make a little ma maze slowly out of them. And entertain my guests. Uh, actually, we can wall this area off completely, I suppose. There we go, that'll keep my guests from uh, wandering where they're not meant to be. Now, let's get a... Well, how how big of a tank is this, first and foremost? Oh, I'm meant to make a tank that's 3x3. Three three. Uh, I'll do that over there. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so, the tank with size 20. So, we're going to need at least 20 heat. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to go for that one then. Which means at that point, we may as well get the power filter as well. So there we are. Now, what would I like in here? Well, first and foremost, I'd really rather not have to have you be there on your own. We'll make this into a mixed tank, I think. Let's open this tank up and move you out. I would rather try and keep each tank to just its species for now. Uh, and on that note, I'd actually like to fill the tanks out if I could. Oh, can I not get get these guys on this mission? Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Very well. Um, no, we, we don't have any of the uh, the lower rank fish. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Well, I want another royal grammar in here. Just because I, I don't like having tanks with with only one of a certain type of fish. Unless that type of fish really does only like being by in there by itself. Um... Let's go. We could put an eel in there, um, just for a bit of a, of a mixed tank. It'll be a bit of an interesting one. Though this one only needs 55 water quality, so maybe we should try and aim for that. Let's get some uh, King Demoiselles. Let's go for three. Water quality is starting to drop, but uh, we're okay for now. Uh, we could get the Black Bar Soldier Fish. Mm, sure. It needs the same type of food, so... One and two. Well, there we go. That's uh, a nice little mixed tank. And we get in just a little bit of driftwood for the caves. And we'll pop in maybe ooh, some eel grass. Really? I need some of that in, in here. My eel. There you go. Let's actually have a look at some of these things. Dense beds of this grass create the perfect habitat for delicate, slow moving animals, including seahorses, pipefish, and sea dragons. Uh, the rubble. This large field of rocks provides additional filtering and a place for certain fish to hide and play. Ah, oh, lovely. We'll just get some uh, lettuce in there, though. And maybe one rock as well. Something about there. There we are. I think that'll be lovely. Right, okay. So I've got to, I've got to sort out what I didn't do earlier. And that is build the correct type of uh, tank. Silly, silly me. Right, now we want a 3x3 three three tank. Doesn't really matter what tank it is besides that. I'm going to just pause it there so that my guests don't wander on in and behind. So, there we are. A 3x3 three three tank. Whomp. There we go. I'm going to keep those walls there. I don't intend to get rid of them. Uh, I will move some of the parts, though, because they're not going to be as efficient for people to move around. But, ah, well, we'll have use for them some way, I'm sure. Alright, so with this tank, this is actually a, a larger tank again. Uh, we can let our guests wander around a bit now. Then. Uh, there we go. So with this one, we're going to want, first and foremost, uh, I think I might want to move the bench around a little bit. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was not what I meant to do. You can sit, uh, sit there and, and stare at the tank. You can also be there and stare at the tank. This is not... Right. Oh my lord, it's all it's all wonky. It's most most vexing. Uh, right, any animal 
we're gonna well we don't have the combi heater yet which is a bit of a pain but we're gonna need a much more powerful heating and filtering solution for this one obviously any animal we could have two eels maybe we could then move this this eel across in fact um sure we could do that move you over there uh, over to you. Nicely done. The next stage of the aquarium's expansion is down to you. You'll need to fund the expansion using ticket sales, so keep an eye on the cash flow, accessible by, by clicking on your current funds. I'll be in touch again once you've grown to a moderate size. Good luck. All right, let's actually click on that. Okay, so staff salaries, animal food, day profits, building costs. Yeah, so there's going to be very, very, very high building costs for a little while. Uh, let's get in uh, one... And two. This way we can get two eels in this tank. Okay. Lovely. And that's going to be up to 18. We'll pop in a little bit of eel grass as well. There we are, just so you can play. And small rock right in the corner there. Perfect. What kind of quality is this? 72 of 65. That's not bad. I think I will just leave that as an eel tank though. As for this tank now, what are we going to put in there? Um, hmm. Oh, do we have any of these? We got. Oh, we haven't got any orchid darty backs. Uh, sure, let's get the orchid darty backs then. Let's uh, take that all the way up to as far as we can. That's about as far as we can without having to add in extra filtering, so we'll leave it there. There we are. That should be fine. You know what? This is going to annoy me. Just because they have to walk around. It's only five. Let's get rid of that. Um, this can be moved down now, since uh, this is the only place that we actually need um, muscles. There we are. Alright. I think this is going to go quite well. Let's let time pass for a little bit. And just see where our prestige sits at so that we can decide how we want to further expand. Oh my lord, everything is breaking at once. That is so utterly not good. We want new staff then. Uh, you've got fixing of two. But you've also got cleaning. So, uh, Romeo! You are hired. I might actually want to hire a second staff member. Um... Can you fix as well? You can fix as well. Uh, I would like you to prioritize fixing. Uh, so I'm going to get a second tool toolbox stand because each one only has a single toolbox. And so when someone picks that up, that uh, someone else has to go to a different stand to get a toolbox if, if, that, if they need one. There we go. Got everything sorted. Please feed the fish, though. If the fish are still hungry at the end of the day, they start to get sick. So it's quite important. Though it does seem to give you a bit of leeway if you bought the, the fish on that day. There we are. Please get them all fed. Then we've just got the uh, mussels down here. Oh, no. What's going on? Ooh. Uh, we're okay. We're okay. We've got plenty of time in the day yet. But we are going to need to expand a decent amount, I think be able to uh, continue pushing this. So let's expand out in this area, shall we? So once again, I'm going to pause it. And I'm generally going to going to pause it whenever we're going for an expansion. Just because if I don't, then it causes a bit of a bit of, uh, bit of trouble for me. Now, we could get a really big um, observation tank. Uh, and I kind of like the idea of that, actually. So, let's expand this out by a good old chunk. We'll slide this across. And now we want the observer tank right there to grow that up. Wow, we can really make it a large tank. We're not going to quite go that full ball. But, still, it should be uh, quite a nice one here. Now, we're going to want a... Probably a bit of both, really, on this. So, heat... And a filter, right there. Now then, how close are we to getting 
that set up. Let's uh, let's see if we can get the uh, this fish. Well, actually, we're only going to just need to make enough room for it. Let's have a look. How much room do you need? You need nine. Okay. We can leave you with nine. Oh, there we are. Uh, you're done. But you will eat fish of size two or less. And I think that also means you'll eat fish of size three or less once you grow. Okay. Pick the next research. I'm going to go with flame angelfish next. We've already read about them. You just unlocked the coral grouper. Let's take a look. The coral grouper has a couple of Cairo coins you haven't seen before. They are greedy, which means they eat more and lower water quality more than other animals. Ooh, wow, okay. Um, they, they, it's more the water quality drop. They dislike con specifics, which means they can o they only um, one may be kept per tank. Finally, they may eat fish and crustaceans, which are smaller than itself. Hover over the warning icon to find out more. Uh, so at five, it'll eat two or three. Hmm. A little bit dangerous, that one, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. So let's pause that one there. Oh, actually, it's just a, allow regular time to, to flow. All right, we're going to need three caves. All right, that shouldn't be too bad. You only need one of these because I can only have one uh, of these fish in this tank. So there we are. You move there. Now, I want fish of a, a quite a decent size in here. Otherwise, I'm going to worry they're going to eat them. So I'm thinking yellow tangs? Maybe. I think that might not be a bad idea. Uh, Alright, let's uh, get some plants in here then. Um, let's get some of this grass maybe in the middle. There we are. Go for a yellow tang or two. Probably just one. Given, oh, maybe we can get two in there. Yeah, we can. Well, that's actually quite nice. There we go. That'll do quite nicely. Right, hopefully that'll help out a little bit. We'll just leave it at that for now, though. Otherwise, I mean, I know it's quite a large tank, but uh, I'm worried about the water quality. I guess I could just build another filter. Hmm. There is that, certainly. Uh, let's see what effect another filter would have, because they, they do start to suffer from diminishing returns. So if we build this, pick it up to 69%. All right. I think we can make this work then. So with that then, let's go ahead and get we've got anything else that's a decent size now. We could have the eels in there actually. And they eat the, a similar type of food. Uh, all right, sure, let's get a, another eel in here. Now wait, that's uh, increasing it up to, it's currently at a five and increasing it to nine. So we've got to account for an extra four. Oh. No, in that case, then, no, we can't afford for an eel. We can only afford for a fish of size two, and we're not going to be adding one of those. But our first eel has grown. Let's go and have a look at it. Uh, right, it can now eat tank meats up to size three. So be careful. There we are. Look at that marvelous fella. Marvelous. You can see the size difference if we have a look at them. I, I don't know what you're doing there. You're just playing in the grass. That's fine. Uh, but let's have a look at you. It will eat crustaceans with size 3 or less. There we go. A new filter. Unlocked. Marvellous. Start work on the basic pump. Well, given that then, we could possibly do away with two of these. Let's have a look at how much they cost. They cost quite a lot, actually. Um, but I'm having to run two of them, so... Uh, no, I, th I think we'll we'll leave that as is. We're not going to mess around with that one too much. Uh, I might. No, I, generally speaking, I, I think we'll 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 sit with that as is. Okay. Well, the next thing then is to add perhaps another tank just to get us up to that 160 mark. And I'm thinking that other tank could live right about here. I think that would be uh, quite a, a nice little space. In fact, we could have just a single tank for that specific fish. Oh, never mind. Impressive work on the latest expansion. You've proven that you're, re you're ready for even more advanced aquarium design techniques. It's time to learn about pumps. Pumps allow you to remotely locate your equipment away from your tanks. Instead of attaching your heaters, filters, etc. directly to the tank, you attach them to the pump, which is several tiles away. Demonstrate your understanding of pumps by building a pump and tank configuration matching the specifications in your objective. Ooh, 
very nice. We could perhaps have a lagoon tank around here then. I would approve of this most heartily. All right, well, given that, then let's uh, let's make a, a bit of a larger space down here, shall we? I think we shall. Um, how do we want to place these? Let's do that for now. I'm going to move this along. That one can sit over there. Now, ultimately, we want this lagoon tank located somewhere around here, but distant from the tank wall. So we're, we're going to have to expand it out a little bit more, I think. Let's uh, draw this out a little bit more. We'll have a, have a look. We want a space of around... Well, I guess a space about this big would be enough on that side. But we probably want a little bit more room than that down here, I'm thinking. We'll see. We'll see. So, unlock the basic pump. We're working on that one. Build a lagoon tank. Uh, there we are. That has got a fantastic capacity. My goodness. And as you can see, you can look at it from all sides. And you can make them redonkulously huge if you really want to. <laughs> We're not going to be doing that. Uh, I think a lagoon tank that big is more than, than good enough for now as a starter. But even as just that, that size, it's got 10 more space than our other tanks have, which is actually quite nice. Um, yeah, sure, we're gonna make a little bit more room. Move this tank along. Then build my wall down here. There we go. Now, the way we're gonna hook this up, we'll have to wait for the pump to be finished, but we'll build our pump around here, and then that'll leave us two spaces to build uh, combi heaters of some sort. Uh, it'll be a little bit of a squeeze in there, but we'll, we'll probably expand down here later on to add a few more tanks, perhaps, or something along those lines. We'll see, though. Right now, though, just need to let our guest bring in a little bit more science. So let's speed things up. Almost got the angel pitch, actually. There we are, the Flame Angelfish has been unlocked. Uh, the Flame Angelfish dislikes con specifics, which means only one may be kept per tank. Very well. Unfortunately, we've got nothing further to unlock right now. So while we're waiting, how about we continue expanding this little area out over on this side? I think that would be uh, quite a nice idea, actually. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Now, what I would like is to have a corner tank of some sort. Yeah, something like this, because we're going to have tanks down along this side. Now, that does mean that this tank may be ignored because they're going to have a branch that they can explore out in this direction, but it's the way we're going to have to be for now. A corner tank it is, then. So, something like this, I'm thinking. Um, possibly a little bit deeper? No, I, th I think that's, that's good enough. There we are. We're actually going to move this... A little bit further across. There we go. And we'll have a, a little bit there. That'll be fine. And uh, with that, we can move this little decoration over here. Now, the thing with these is they are actually decorations for tanks. But apparently you can just drop them down on, on the floor. Uh, it's a bit of an odd one, that. But uh, they are actually decorations for tanks more than anything. If you have a look at it. Barrel. Decoration. Number of prestige points whenever guests view this. Oh, I mean, maybe we can just have them on the floor. I don't know about that, though. Uh, nevertheless, let's go ahead and pop down... How much uh, volume has this got? It's not actually got that much in terms of heating. So we could just use a basic heater here. Um, sure. Okay, let's pop down a basic heater. We don't need more than that. Now, what kind of fish do we want in here? We are going to go with a flame angel fish. Let's pop you in. That means we need some plants just for you. Let's pop that in. There we go. We do also need to get some filtration there. We'll go for a fairly hefty filter, though. Um, we might just... No, I don't want to leave you on your own. I think. I don't want to pop you in there because you'll eventually eat them, I'm fairly certain. So, what else can we pop in with you? Have we got anyone else who likes plants, perhaps? No. Well, we've got the yellow tang. I guess I could put a yellow tang in there, but we've already got so many of them in the, 
in the aquarium. I guess we'll go with the Azure and Demoiselle. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Sure. We'll just have a, just have a little shoal of them with you. And that, that actually quite a nice little tank. Fairly simple for us to set up too. That's cool. Okay, I like that. A new, a new species of fish in the aquarium that we didn't have previously. Ooh, that is not so great. Uh, of course, because they have grown, they now have a significantly larger impact on the filtration in there. That is a bit of a shame. I don't believe that two rocks will fix this, but let's just check if we might be able to fix it with two rocks. One, no. If that had pulled it up to two, then that would have been good, but that, uh, alas, no. Okay, well, given that, then, we're going to need a smaller filter. Um, can't put it there. I'll have to place it. Now, that's going to throw my plan for the pump into uh, disarray, but, oh well. We'll just have to live with that one. Okay, well, my staff should be able to go and grab the, the clams when needed, but uh, we've got a lot of tanks now. I'm a little bit concerned about the amount of time it's going to take them to get everything fed. There's still only one person really feeding, so how about we hire someone else? Feeding two, fixing two, feeding two, cleaning one. Um, yeah, uh, Isla, that get, let's get you hired. Please and thank you. You can go ahead. Uh, I would actually like you to prioritize cleaning since you're one of the only people who will have that as a priority. Rather than that, just focus on uh, getting everything sorted out. Oh, there we go. Well, now it's tank mates of size three, so be careful. Indeed, you will. Not too surprised, honestly. Not too surprised. Let's have a look at l look at you and see how much you uh, you give us. Six prestige. 45 science. My goodness. And what about the uh, large eels? Have a look at these. 5 prestige and 36 science. New pumps unlocked. There we go. So now we can build our lagoon tank. We can build our lagoon tank a fair old distance away. Which is nice. Let's just see how far away we can build it. Uh, that will still connect. Built over there. This one will connect if built here. That will work for us. There we are. Even though that is there, we'll still be able to connect it up with this. Now that's got a, a water volume of 32. So we're going to want to grab something which can heat up to 32. A power heater would be sufficient for that. Uh, Alright. Could just go with that. Or a power combi right there. Yeah, we'll go with a power combi. Okay, so we want any animal, sufficient water quality, and sufficient heat heating. So we've already got water quality and heating. That's fine. And we will go for... Well, we could get a flame... Well, no, they, they will eat size 3. So we won't go for one of those. We could instead get a coral grouper and an eel. So I would need, uh, that would be 9, 18, this is a 32, we could get two eels, alternatively, hmm, we could get two yellow tangs in there as well, since they're reasonably large fish, alternatively we could go for three black bar soldier fish, so that's three caves, Six caves. And then... Okay, so that's not something that we're going to have too much trouble achieving, but... Um, I don't know, the tank might be a little bit too small for that kind of setup. Oh, wow, we lost prestige because they'd already seen it. Before. That was a bit of a shame. Uh, let's get Coral Grouper. There we are. Now, finish it. One of you guys is thirsty. Built some vending machines so they have somewhere to purchase a drink. Selling your guest refreshments is also a great way to boost your income. Ha ha. Ah, theme park. Right, so we've got enough for one eel. Pop you in there as well. And, okay, 69 of 65. Not exactly perfect, but we can make it work. 
get some of the soldier fish in there. We can get one at least. There we go. We can literally get one. I could get another if I if I want to build uh, another driftwood habitat. It's a little bit samey in there now, but let's we'll see how it goes. And we're going to need another filter as well. So let's pop down a power filter right here. There we go. So we're back up to 72%. Let's go ahead and add a couple of other fish in here. Can we make it? Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there. 25 of the 32. That's fine with me. I think that'll be a, a nice little, little area. We'll add in some plants as well. There we go. Right, okay, so we're going to want some refreshments. We'll also add a bench out here, I think. Okay. In terms of the refreshment, you'll notice benches have a range. Like, if a guest is tired, as long as they're within the range of a bench, they'll move to that bench. Otherwise, they'll just continue to be tired. Uh, likewise, vending machines have a range. Pop one there. We'll also have one down here. And that will pretty much... In fact, we could have one just snuck in there. Could we? Uh, no, because of that. Well, that's a bit of a shame, but... Uh, we could have one here and pretty much cover the entire the entire aquarium with vending machine coverage. Glorious! I've got to build three, but I don't need three. Ah, oh, it's a waste. Alright, we'll build one down there. Okay. There you go. Right, got to reach rank four. Well, let's see how things go first. Let's see how high we can get. I don't think we're going to get to 220. I think that would be asking a lot. Indeed, we didn't quite reach 220. Okay, well, uh, time, I think, for us to start fleshing out this little area around here. Now, as I've said, I generally feel that you should try to emphasize having your um, uh, guests walk a, a certain path, so I don't want to... to add more tanks over on this side having one tank off the beaten path is enough for me because visibility is not amazing this was only recently added so it's to be expected it's a bit low but uh, that being said we've got a decent amount but what i would like to do is surround this area in more tanks so let's get to that shall we uh, we could add a little path down here would be enough and then expand this out so what kind of tank do we want down here let's have a just a regular wall tank and uh, we were not going to make it too fancy don't need to so we'll start off with a wall tank about yay big and we can add in a power combi right there hooked up there and that'll be enough Right, what do we want in this tank is the next question. Let's go and see. Um, I think I'd like... Let's get a Royal Grammar and Orchid Dotty Bag mix over here. So, one, two, three. And then... One, two, three. Perfect. And there we are. Ranked up straight away. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Okay. Up to rank four. Okay, we've now unlocked Kelp, Rocky Overhang, the Fox Face Rabbit Fish, the Reef Squirrel Fish, the Blue Knuckle Hermit Crab, the Longhorn Cow Fish, a Large Filter, and a Large Heater. Let's go. Congratulations on reaching, reaching rank four. Among the new animals you can unlock at this rank are the first crustaceans. This blue knuckle hermit crab is a great support animal because it doesn't need feeding and actually provides additional filtering. It does need feeding, it's just it, it eats when any other fish is fed, so it doesn't matter what is fed, but it does technically need feeding. But you'll notice this one will actively filter the tank itself. But it is a crustacean, so uh, the fish that we've got that eat crustaceans, yeah, that would be bad. 
you now have your final objective. You may also receive optional objectives from third parties. In return for fulfilling uh, certain requirements, they'll offer you a reward. It's completely up to you whether you comply with their requests, but you may find it easier to meet your objectives if you do. Very well. Well, the first one we're going to go for is obviously the blue knuckle hermit crab. This dwarf crab species is a real gem, a hard-working scavenger who plays nice with other tank mates. A group of these hermits makes an ideal tank cleanup crew. Fantastic! I approve. Scavenger does not contribute to bio-load of tank, automatically fed when any other animal in the tank is fed. That's brilliant. Uh, we'll go with the large filter because that's definitely the thing we're having the most trouble with right now. Uh, right, I want to... Oh dear, one of your guests has thrown their fizzy drink litter on the ground. Oh, those scallywags. Build a broom stand and get one of your staff to clean up. Okay, well, that is why we had the, uh, the broom, the staff with the cleanup talent. Much like the toolbox, I believe that uh, there is only one broom. So you need to build multiples of them if you want multiple staff to clean up at the same time. You can reduce the amount of time your staff spend sweeping up after other guests by placing bins around the aquarium. We're going to do that right away. Place a bin there, uh, a bin over here, and we'll have a bin there. Actually, we'll move this one around. Don't want it right next to the uh, place that they're sitting. There we go. That'll do, I think. Perfect. Right. Crack on, then. We've got to get up to 350 prestige. It's uh, not a small amount, to be fair. All right. Now this, as you can see, eight caves. That is so much better than having to place two of these and only getting six. So with that in mind, it's going to be one of the first things we do. Uh, we are going to demolish two of these. Let's get rid of those. And then we're going to move you. Oh, no, that's the whole tank. No, no, come on, no, no, oh, poop. Right, what we want to do is we want to link this up to that tank. There we go. It does get a little bit finicky. Uh, what I wanted to do was move this. There we go. And then we can add in something, just a little bit more variance. And that gives us a good chunk of prestige there as well. The rocky overhang. This rocky tunnel provides a larger shelter for cave-dwelling animals. Also, kelp. This giant seaweed creates underwater forests perfect for larger fish and shark species. Uh, sharks. Species of kelp can grow up to half a meter daily, reaching up to 80 meters in height. Now, this can only be put in a deep tank, so it's ones in the ground like these. Uh, let's pop that there. There we go. That looks absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Over here, though, we're going to go with... Um... Let's get... Actually, you know what? What we can do, we can move the sea lettuce from that tank to this tank. Uh, since this one doesn't really need much, we'll also have a little rock. But this tank can then have the kelp, which is going to add extra prestige because it's something that most of my guests won't have seen in my other tanks. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so the next tank we want to set up. I would like another um, observer tank down here. But this one's going to need... Bare chunk of space because they they do protrude a bit. So we're gonna want at least this much um, space. Proud of the wall, something like that. One space behind it as well. That will be our access point. In fact, I'm gonna expand this out a little bit more, and then one more behind it. Now I know it does seem uh, a little crazy. In fact. Let's go ahead and, and place this tank in first, shall we, before I get too, uh, too carried away. Can make it really big, but... Oh, should we? It'd be a fantastically high-capacity tank if we did. Hmm. You know what? Sure. Let, let's go for... Let, let's go big or go home, as the saying goes. And we'll expand this out on that side as well. Right, okay, well, definitely want a staff door on this side. And I'll just build that across for now. Uh, so let's get that in place. Uh, and sure, we can add down an extra bench, perhaps, for my guests. This will look quite nice. And then we can move that around. Perfect. Right, okay, continue on then. 
So, we're going to need quite a lot of filtration and heating for this one. Uh, well, actually, it's only got a capacity of 30, so that we are technically only going to need one power combi to heat the entire tank. But filtration-wise, I fear we're going to need a lot more than that. Um, let's actually have a look at our messages. Uh, right. Coral Grouper 2 has grown. Fantastic. Interested in some decorations? Howdy! I found this load of junk washed up on the seafront. I thought you might be able to use it to decorate some of your tanks. If you want it, just let me know. If you manage to create something with it, I could probably supply you with more. Objective requirements. Build a tank with one conch, one barrel, one anchor, one shell. Reward. Unlock decorations. Sure. I'll take it off your hands. Uh, where are they? Decoration delivery. This. Ah, there we go. Here we go. Alright. Let me just pop these down for now. First and foremost. There we go. Let's pop these over there. Okay, so. I need to place it. So, yeah, I guess I could just place decorations wherever. Can I actually do that? No. No, I can't. Come on. I had to try, though. <laughs> can't blame you for trying. Uh, Alright. We've got some really nice decorations then. Let's move these around before we do anything else. I'll, I'll let time pass. We'll pop this barrel in one of our tanks. Um, let's start out with you. No, actually, you can have a conch shell. I, oh, yeah, I think a barrel down here. That'd look great. So that's one barrel. Let's get a shell over there. That looks lovely, actually. Uh, we'll get a conch shell. Got this gigantic tank here, why not? And then a uh, sunken anchor. There we go. Perfect. Wow. I'm impressed. When I look at that tank, I'm transported to another time. This morning, actually, when I found that pile of junk on the beach. <laughs> now that's art. There's plenty more where that came from. I'll supply you with as much as you need. Subject to a small handling fee. I also have some paint available, which you can use to decorate your walls, floors, and tanks. You'll find it in the decoration section of the build menu. My goodness. This is marvellous. Where's, where's the decoration section? Uh, is it over here? Yes. <sighs> blue paint. Regular blue paint. Shipwreck paint. Tropical beach paint. I, I paint things. Tropical beaches. How does one paint a tropical beach? Like that. Aha! Oh, I like it. Yeah, I quite like it. That's actually quite useful. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Shipwreck paint. Oh, I like this shipwreck paint. I like the shipwreck paint a lot. We're going with that. Well, maybe with a couple of exceptions. Mostly we're going with the shipwreck paint. Oh, I can paint the walls too. Oh my goodness, this is great. This is amazing. All of the painting, all of the time. Look, my... my my guests deserve a well-decorated aquarium, okay? Only the best for them. There we are, all the way around. I'm not going to paint the areas at the back, though. Oh, can I not paint? Ah, oh, no, I can't paint that. Oh, that's, that's actually rubbish. Also, this door really needs to be closed. Thank you. Right, and then, you see what I'm going to do? Is I am going to have tropical beach paint... On the observation tanks. See? See? There's method to my madness. Also this corner tank. I guess. Uh, maybe I could do the same on this corner. No, no. That's not a corner tank. This corner tank can have tropical. Uh, no, it wouldn't make as much sense as that one. Because it kind of stands proud. Yeah. This one could be tropical beach. Can I paint the floor? I can make it look like sand. Um... Not sure. Let's have a look at the uh, shipwreck paint. I think it needs to be shipwreck paint. Get it all done. The uh, area behind... In the, the staff only areas can remain blue. And that'll set everything apart. Oh no, I accidentally painted my... Uh, my lagoon can. I'll get that sorted in a moment though. I think this looks marvellous. I didn't uh, encounter this quest. I guess I must have overlooked it when I 
was testing. So this is the first time I've actually seen the decorations like this. This, this is brilliant. I didn't realize you could do it. I didn't realize how much I needed it in my life until till now. Well, there we go. I think, yeah, let's get that good painted. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at that. This is, an, um, this is just the best. I'm super happy. Super duper happy. I still haven't put anything in this tank, though. Sod it. Uh, right, let's uh, go and have a look. What do we want to pop in there? Um, well, crammers, I'd kind of like. Uh, maybe a moray eel, perhaps? Or flame angelfish. No, we'll have flame angelfish. Some royal crammers. Right, let me pause that because we definitely do need to get some additional plants in there. Uh, I'm going to want to move around anchor. Let's have the anchor. Yeah, we'll have the anchor there. Um, no. no. We'll have the anchor on this side. We'll move the plants like so, so that I can add in the rocks. Like that. Then we can have an eel in there as well. Because it's a fairly large tank, might as well. So let's grab the Zebra Moray Eel and we'll pop you down right there. In fact, we could have two. Because each eel is going to grow by five. So that gives us enough space for it. And on the far side then we'll pop down the power filter. There we are. Perfect. That is actually quite a varied tank. It needs quite a lot of different uh, different species. Uh, sorry, different food types in there. Eventually, we're going to have another another um, tank over here, but we're going to wait a little bit to get up to that. Right, we do have quite a lot of work to do. Ooh, dear me. That's not good. It's no longer able to manage. Given that, then... I'm going to move some things around. So that can... Uh, a bit awkward, honestly. I guess we'll just have to go with this until we get a large filter. There we are. That'll do. Alright. Let's allow our staff to move around swiftly. It's starting to feel that uh, we actually need to move these around a little bit more. Well, what type of fish do we want next? We've got the fox face rabbit fish. What an amazing name. The fox face rabbit fish is venomous and like many other creatures that sting displays the warning coloration yellow and black. Uh, dislikes food competitors. Cannot be housed with other species that eat green pellets. Okay. Uh, it needs very high water uh, quality there. The longhorn crowfish. In fact, all of them seem to. Um, so let's go for the reef squirrel fish. This nocturnal fish is shy but not unprotected, defending itself with the venomous dorsal spines that can give a sharp sting to any unwary aquarist. Uh, okay. Uh, it's got some science points, that one, which should be quite nice. And doesn't need a particularly um, beefy cage. Uh, sorry, uh, doesn't need a particularly uh, high quality beefy cage. Uh, a beefy water tank, but beefy is still the wrong word. Uh, blue knuckle hermit crab is crustacean. Many fish eat crustaceans, so you have to be very careful where we put them. Yes, pretty much anyone with an eel is out of bounds. Right, okay, let's uh, find some places to dot them around then, shall we? Uh, since they don't have a particularly negative effect on the... Um, uh, what's it called? The... Oh, it doesn't say it in there. But it doesn't uh, affect the sort of, like, bio... Um, Bio load on the tank. Large filter has been researched. We'll start work on the large heater. So let's have a look at you. Your size two. I can pop you in there. Ah, of course. That does need a, a higher, um, a higher water quality. Even though, technically speaking, the only reason I'm putting that in there is so that I can get uh, a higher quality in there. But oh well. We'll get rid of that. Now, this tank does not need that powerful of a heater, but what it does need is a decent... Uh, actually, I shouldn't have swapped it out. I was going to swap it out to a combi heater, but we didn't want that now. We'll leave that in there. That should be enough. 
There we go. So we've got some new ones. Uh, we'll add one over here as well. What kind of quality is this tank? Uh, it's 56. So yeah, maybe I can't as easily do that then because many of these tanks have uh, a quality much too low. Mm. Alright, well, that's got eels in it. This does not, but I'd need to pull the quality up quite drastically to be able to house them in there. Okay, well, I guess we could pull the quality up. It wouldn't be a terrible thing to do that. We could at least do it on this side, so we'll pop down our power filter there and see what quality the tank's up to. Yeah, that's good enough. We can add in a blue knuckle hermit crab into that one. There we are. It's a little bit better, making a bit better use of my tanks. Uh, what do we have in here? We don't actually have... Uh, you'll eat crustaceans up to size 3. Drap. Uh, they will not, though, so... We'll set up a new tank over here, I think. And we'll get a... Decent colony of hermit crabs in there. Let's uh, draw this out. We don't actually need a very large tank. If we just want the hermit crabs in there, a small tank is probably ideal. So, given that, we're gonna have a just a just a little tank, just purely for the hermit crabs. Let's go ahead and get a wall tank. Right there. We're going to decorate it, obviously with the shipwreck paint. We're then going to build a wall on this side and a staff door. Uh, actually, we're going to move these around. Once again, decorate those with shipwreck paint. Perfect. And we'll go for... How big is this? This is a tiny little tank. I don't think we're going to have much problem. We could even go for just a combi mini in my room now. We've got to tell it which tank it needs to connect to. All right, let's pop in a, a blue knuckle hermit crab. Yeah, yeah I mean it, it's fantastic because there's nothing that's applying any kind of bio load to this tank at all. Uh, in fact, we could add a couple of extra things in, but no, let's let's just go all in. Let's just have a tank with hermit crabs in it. The most filtered of all tanks. Do we even need the combi there? Probably not, honestly. We probably could have just had the hermit crab. Uh, that was a bit silly of me, really, when I, when I think about it. But, oh well. Uh, we'll have a little bit of a lettuce there. Maybe a rock. There we go. That'll be lovely. There we are. Yeah, people are enjoying it. Excellent. We're going to have to work quite hard to get enough prestige, though. To win this level, I fancy. Just let a little time pass so I can observe that. How much are people seeing the tanks? This is definitely something I need to uh, pay close attention to. How much are, each, uh, are my tanks being viewed? Not getting as much view as I would like. Not all of my ta Okay, all of these... These tanks have been seen by everyone. These tanks are creeping up there. Wow. Really? I'm actually really surprised by this. We're getting up there. I'm genuinely quite surprised. Maybe one more tank would be enough. If we even need an extra tank. No, no, we do. We need one more tank, possibly. Well, well, well. That was quite the surprise, I'll be honest. Uh, so far, it's looking... No, there we go! We've won! Wow! Wasn't expecting that! You've accomplished a lot here at Northwoods. When you arrived, it was dilapidated. You restocked it, reinvested your profits, and transformed it into the impressive aquarium you see before you. Another job offer has come in, this time from a private collector in Elmshorn, looking for an architect to design their dream aquarium. You can continue to build here at Northwoods for as long as you want. This message will stay in your message log, accessible via the button in the bottom left, until you're ready. When you're ready for a new challenge, let me know. Well, I think that was uh, quite a wonderful little uh, surprise there. I really wasn't expecting to to uh, complete this level quite that quickly. I'm really, really liking this little area we've got, got going here. I think that's, that's wonderful. 
I think we've done a good job. I love the decorations, though. And I, that's probably why we managed to complete this as quickly as we did. I'm fairly certain that I had to build a lot more tanks uh, on my test play before I managed to complete this level. And that was likely because I just missed that message. So, yeah, there you go. Decorations, everyone. But that's going to be it from me. Please let me know in the comments down below whether you're enjoying the series or not. And I will see you in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.